Uh, hi guys, uh, today I uh, will show you how uh, to feed your DSLR with uh, uh, an XLR sound signal. Okay, so the formula here is to, <clears throat> uh, to have a, a signal that is powerful enough to turn all the digital gain to the minimum. Okay, so what I'm using here is an iRig Pre, preamp, and an XLR mic. Uh, I'm using an XLR cable, a short one, as short as possible, <coughs> is going through the IRIC Pre, and then the IRIC Pre uh, is going to the to the camera body. But here's the trick: uh, IRIC Pre do not work on, uh, only works on uh, Apple devices. So, so what you need is uh, an adapter here, which I got from eBay. I'll put a link for in the description. It actually looks like this. It has a mic, uh, the mic output, and it has the the headphone uh, output. So what I did is I just uh, used the cap tape, you know, to roll everything together so it doesn't keep hanging. And also because of the joint, I might. It's very thin, so uh, I used the gaff tape. I used the gaff tape to, uh, to make it more solid. All right. And then what you do is just, you know, feed, uh, you just feed the uh, iRig Pre to the body, camera body. You don't need a double, syst a double system audio recording. And there you, there you go. And now, this is kind of the harder part. Now you need Magic Lantern to turn on, turn on, to override the, the input signal. To go to Magic Lantern, go to audio, and set this on override audio settings to on. Okay, so that over Magic Lantern now overrides uh, the settings, the auto settings of the of the camera. Uh, set the NL gain to zero if it is not already on zero. And the mic boost, add a bit of a bit of mic boost here, 10 decibels. Uh, I tried different uh, different settings here, and 10 seems seems to be the best one. And uh, always, as always, it all depends on what you're recording. So you have, you can monitor the signals here. Actually, it's not on yet. Now it's on. Now it's overriding. Okay. One, two, three. There you go, see? And the awesome thing about Magic Lantern is you can monitor. Test it first, listen to it, and then, you know, I set it. All right, so there we go. One, two, three, this is testing. This is Motaz, this is my channel. Blah, blah, blah. See, eh, it's fairly accurate. It's fine. But yeah, this is how you, uh, you feed your DSLR with an XLR sound signal without expensive preamps and uh, without the need of uh, double system audio recording. It's very simple, very simple. I will sh make another tutorial about this setup. Uh, the, uh, it's a uh, kind of a C100, C300 uh, style rig here for my DSLR. But we'll see. All right. Hope this helps. If there's any question, put it in the video comments and I'll get back to it. Uh, this is a disclaimer, okay? This tutorial is based on, on, on uh, experimentations and not on theory. But according to my experimentations, turning down the analog gain and having a little bit of a mic boost, max 10, 10 dBs, um, provides cleaner signal. And again, uh, always uh, look for a cleaner signal because later on I can edit it. Okay, so, <clears throat> and to recap, we have three variables. We have the digital gain, we have the analog gain, we have the mic boost. Okay, these are the three things we worked with. Okay, so just to make things clear and not confusing. Uh, analog gain and digital gain both on zero, okay, and the mic boost to 5 to 10, all right, this is my configuration and my experimentation, okay. Maybe this is wrong theoretically, I don't know, but it works with me and that's what I need. Uh, and as again, I'm saying is provide the camera with a, a, a signal that is powerful enough, not so that you do not need to turn these two, you know, analog or digital gain uh, on or up in, in the camera. So the, the, the signal is ready from the preamp, it's powerful enough, you just record it on the, on the camera. Uh, 
from an engineering perspective, I'm not going to talk about that. This is all about experimentation, and that's all. I don't have time for that, to be honest. Okay, this works for me. It's pretty cool. I get really clean signal. I edit it, and even the test right now you're listening to is actually edited. Okay, uh, the one that is raw is really low. The signal is really low. We can barely see it. Uh, but there is no noise at all, okay? You can see nothing. It's like when I pause, I'm just silent. You can see it's a, you know, it's a signal that is dead. It's zeroed, okay? It's DC. Uh, a quick uh, insight about the setup here. I'm using uh, three LEDs, the very small ones, the CN126. Bouncing, bouncing them on my wall. And I have here my window, a ski light, and a kick light here, which is barely a kick light. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the lens is uh, the 50 Nifty or Nifty 50 uh, Canon 1.8 uh, and that's pretty much it. Alright, see you on the next tutorial. This is Mort has my channel. Thank you for watching.